Kutyo. President, please be seated. Le Président, veuillez vous asseoir. The court is now back in session. L'audience est ouverte. Before we proceed, may the international co-counsel for Nguyen Chia be on his feet, please. J'invite l'avocat international de Nguyen Chia à se lever. The chamber would like to inform you La that Chambre yesterday we heard your request concerning La the time allocation for putting questions to witnesses uh, uh, from one, hour, one and a half hour to half day. With regard to this, the Chamber would like uh, to reserve our ruling that uh, each uh, council still La Chambre allocated uh, alloué one and a half hours de défense for putting une questions ou to the witness. Une heure et and that uh, councils are advised to put questions to this witness concerning the distribution of documents and the classification les of documents by the and the distribution of documents and the classification of documents information concerning the relevance of uh, the collection of documents. Les questions doivent donc, doivent donc porter and sur the Chamber la would like uh, to also see during the course of the questionings whether more times are needed si for each uh, council respectively then the Chamber will rule on that, de uh, on that particular la Chambre avisera Do you understand our Yes, I do. Thank you. Est-ce que vous avez compris notre décision? La défense de Nouria. Oui. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Bonjour, Monsieur Darapel. Today, the chamber continues hearing your testimonies. Aujourd'hui, vous allez continuer de déposer devant la chambre. Asked some more questions by parties. Les parties Yesterday, we left off when the international prosecutor. Hier, finished uh, with his questions, but uh, the National Court Prosecutor would like uh, to also put some questions to you concerning the documents at DC camp. So we would like now to proceed du DC -CAM. La to the est donc National Court Prosecutor. Au -procureur national. National Co-Prosecutor, co good morning, Monsieur. Mr. President, good morning, Bonjour, Your Honours, and Madame, 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 good morning, everyone Je in salue les this courtroom. Ici I am Chandara Rasmai, Deputy Co-Prosecutor co on the national side. I would like to put questions to Cambodia. Mr. Je souhaiterais poser des questions uh, Po and uh, à Monsieur Po. Good morning again, Mr. À nouveau, Darapo. Bonjour, Monsieur Darapo. I have some important questions J'ai des questions importantes à vous poser. I wish to put to you. You talked about the revolutionary magazines. Vous avez uh, flag parlé magazine and use of flag des magazines. magazines. Drapeaux révolutionnaires. Et jeunesse révolutionnaire. What uh, kind of uh, mechanism you use to identify that these documents are relevant to the Khmer Rouge? Respond. Comment peut-on établir la pertinence de ces documents par rapport au Khmer Rouge? With regard to how these documents are Réponse. determined uh, uh, as uh, to be relevant to the democratic Kampuchea regime. First, uh, we read uh, these documents very carefully, and we review 
the essence, the language Nous used on, mm, uh, in the text. Documents. And uh, we also looked at the dates on Nous the documents to identify whether they are speaking about the democratic Cambodia si or not. Concerne ou non le Cambodia démocratique. Question. Question. What were the phrases or terms uh, that are very commonly used in the magazines? Dans ces magazines. Response. Réponse. It is a huge volume of documents uh, to read uh, to uh, tell you in details about the revolutionary flag magazines, but I can give you an example of... Revues. Mais je peux néanmoins vous donner un exemple. Of uh, how the enemy uh, were smashed, the... Il s'agit de la façon dont les ennemis étaient éliminés. Il est question des ennemis qui s'étaient infiltrés, qui s'étaient incrustés. Ce sont là des mots que l'on trouve à de très nombreuses reprises dans ces documents. Question. What are the other measures uh, or tactics uh, or techniques you used uh, to identify the documents? Response uh, in order Réponse. to verify the documents, we had to read them very carefully. We have to examine the text, the language used in the text, and also the dates. Ainsi que Question. Question. Does DCCAM keep any documents relevant to que le the royal DCCAM government of national union of Cambodia documents ayant trait au gouvernement royal d'union nationale du Cambodia with regard to this please Réponse. inform that uh, be informed that uh, DCCAM has its mandate to DCCAM research and compile des recherches documents et de rassembler des documents these documents are only the relevant documents uh, to the democratic Cambodian regime. En rapport avec and le régime du Cambodia officially, we only um, collect documents uh, in the period of 1975 to 1979. Question. I would like to proceed question. to another question. This question concerning bibliographic uh, database parler de la base de données bibliographiques à présent and uh, also the database with regard to biographic photographic and Ainsi que geographic de la base de données de photographie et de la base de données and other relevant uh, documents uh, concerning the history of the Khmer Rouge I would like to proceed with the Bibliographic uh, database. Could you please uh, de la base explain de to us uh, what this expression pouvez -vous, means? Pouvez -vous nous expliquer Response. Ce que vous entendez par là? At uh, DCCAM, we Réponse. have uh, four kinds DCCAM, of documents on the database. Nous avons First, de the dans la base. bibliographic database. Tout d'abord, les données bibliographiques. The data Ensuite, concerning les the biographies Biography of the former Khmer Rouge combatants and victims. Khmer Rouge et les victimes Khmer Rouge. So this uh, bibliographic database uh, is for that purpose. Voilà à quoi sert la base Question, de do données. you have any other database Question. apart from y this? Y a-t-il bases de données? Or other purpose? Response. The main Réponse. purpose for a uh, bibliographic database is only for storing the biographies de of the former Khmer Rouge combatants. Uh, and uh, at uh, DC Chem, des pièces sur la biographie des anciens combattants Khmer Rouge. Uh, we call it uh, the biographies uh, related documents starting with prefix I or K. Uh, question, could you please identify at what level people question. could be classified as combatants? 
Qu'entendez-vous par combattant Response. Uh, we normally do Réponse. not classify them. We just uh, put the documents all together en into général, the database. Question. Could you please tell uh, the Question. volume of such uh, data in the, the database? Uh, Respond. I think you Réponse. may refer to this question by searching our website. Vous pouvez trouver réponse à la question. question en effectuant une recherche sur le site web. Question. With regard to the more than one million uh, documents uh, you Vous mentioned, could you please uh, tell us million whether it, they are relevant to this uh, response? I think uh, your question is rather broad. Could you please réponse. be more specific and be uh, brief précis? and uh, precise? Question. question. I would like uh, to know what kind of documents uh, are the key documents Quels that documents can be classified and input into the bibliographic database. And what would be the headings categories. for these documents? Response. As I already indicated, uh, DCCAM does not do any analysis of uh, any document. We don't classify documents as uh, key documents or major documents. We have classified the documents only based on the seul classement que nous opérons the what we have collected. Uh, the order of the documents uh, received. Se fonde sur l'ordre dans lequel nous avons obtenu les documents. And concerning this uh, bibliographic database, uh, we have created uh, the form so that information can be filled in. And this uh, includes uh, several fields. Avec plusieurs rubriques que l'on complète au fur et à mesure. The information is of general nature so that the uh, researchers and the public uh, can easily access uh, to, for example, those who would like uh, to find uh, their relatives or their loved ones who disappeared or lost uh, during the Democratic Cambridge year. Question. Thank you, Mr. Darapel. Merci, Mr. Darapel. What kinds of documents are recorded uh, in the bibli bibliographic database, including books and other magazines, for example, that you have compiled so far? Response. Response. I think when it comes to amount of the documents, I find it difficult to Il give you the exact uh, amount. Exact. However, I feel that uh, you can find your answer uh, when you access to our database system of the DCCAM. Regarding the data in the bibliographic database, all documents that are not relevant uh, to uh, all, all documents that are relevant to biography are included Tous les in this uh, database. Dans cette base Question, de how are Question. documents input uh, into uh, this bibliographic database? Comment Response. Pour verser ces dans At DCCAM, we have our Réponse. own Au method nous avons notre in système. inputting documents or data pour into les the database. Dans la we base use de the term uh, we have a manual for inputting such documents, and it is, uh, the manual is stored at DCCAM, and people DCCAM. who uh, uh, compile or input data into uh, the computer database has to follow de uh, this uh, manual. Dans la base de données, doivent se conformer aux instructions de ce manuel. Question. Question. What fields are recorded for each document in that uh, database? For example, title, author, rubriques. source of document, exemple, titre, auteur, condition of document, document summary of contents, contenu, alleged victims, victim alleged 
perpetrators' meeting location. Response. Indeed, in each database, there is a worksheet form in which a field is identified. In each form, there are more than 100 sub-fields. And uh, dates, names concerning the persons in the biography can be input. And also the record or history of uh, people who input the database and also the summary of uh, such contents in the database. These are all available in the database. And I would like uh, to also uh, tell you that uh, uh, when inputting the documents, we also look into the hard paper documents. And we extract information from these hard copies into another hard copy form, leaving some margins for de la copie papier filling further information. These information later on be input into the database. Lequel, so lequel va à son tour être all the information input in the database have been available in hard copy as well as the DC camera. Thank you very much, uh, the prosecutor. Next question, who undertakes this work? And are question, they supervised to ensure accuracy of the data? Response, I am the person in charge. Réponse. I have um, several other colleagues who helped me, and the input tâche. of this data into the database uh, goes through steps. Lorsque For example, first we look at the actual text, données, and then étapes. we see how Nous this text can be filled into the hard paper form, manière, and later on we have to transfer papier. the text on this uh, hard copy into the database de, qui se and have them verified to see whether données. the documents on the paper are pour voir consistent with si the um, set fields in the database. Other colleagues uh, will also be ready to assist us with verifying prévue whether the wording, the text, are accurate si as opposed to the actual text. And the next step is uh, for the group to review uh, this database to see whether there is any error in inputting the data and that uh, adjustment uh, would be made uh, to ensure that the accuracy is preserved. Question. You said you are in charge Question. of uh, this. Uh, from, from when have you been in charge of uh, this task? Response. I have been working here at the DC CAM since 1995, uh, and I depuis think that I started uh, performing this task uh, since I first started working at Et the DC CAM. Centre, I would like to proceed to the next uh, subject, which is about question. biographic database. Turning to this uh, biographic database, what is the purpose of the biographic Quel database? Est de la base de Response. Réponse. Regarding the creation of uh, this system uh, database, uh, regardless of bibliographic or biographic database, de la base the purpose is to facilitate researchers who come to conduct their research at DCCAM. It is to help them have a user-friendly interface 
à mettre à la disposition uh, so that information can be retrieved from internet uh, without having asked them to come all the way to the DC cam uh, sans devant, place sans devoir with nécessairement venir en personne des to the bibliographic database pour ce qui est de la base it de is données important for people who are searching for their lost relatives friends or loved ones, those who have disappeared uh, during the democratic Cambodia regime. The purpose of this is also to help them, to help the relatives, the family members, because after the Khmer Rouge regime, many people have disappeared and relatives have no knowledge of uh, their loved ones, where they could have been. So this database is really important to assist them to locate uh, their relatives. On a daily basis, uh, there are a number of people who are coming all the way from various provinces to the DC camp to search for their disappeared uh, relatives or members of the family. Although Finally, they learned that they died, but they would know uh, exactly through the database uh, when they died or where. Ont péri, mais la base Question. de données leur permet au moins de savoir où et quand Regarding ces gens ont trouvé la mort. Biographic database. Question. Have you also included the task de la base de concerning the biographies y of the senior Khmer Rouge uh, leaders or the secretaries of the districts ou des or de district. other live review reports uh, by the Khmer Rouge? And whether such uh, documents, including Le cas uh, the biographies of other Khmer Rouge members and victims, or ordinary citizens included, response uh, to be en clear and documents. for the Réponse. public information, uh, may I refer Mr. Co-Prosecutor to the DCCAM website Je vous invite à and le site go to du that uh, particular database or oh, maybe we can access to that database now uh, in this courtroom uh, so that uh, you will see how many fields Ainsi are created and uh, what the other relevant uh, fields. Thank you. Uh, another question. How many question. records are contained in the bibliographic Combien database? La base Response. De uh, I would like uh, to reiterate my position that Réponse. with regard to the actual amount of documents, could you please be referred to the database itself? Pour savoir le nombre exact d'entrées, je vous renvoie à la base de données elle-même. Question. How do you ensure question. that the information is accurately Comment recorded? Est-ce que vous pouvez garantir Response. I think uh, I have uh, made uh, this Réponse. clear already with regard dit. to the verification or examination of documents to be put into the database moment de verser and uh, dans la base de how documents are compared uh, and uh, treated, uh, how we deal with them because Et there are steps comment nous procédions. Uh, to ensure que that the documents are accurately recorded. Question. Des documents se fasse de façon exacte. Do you have Question. any information concerning the abuse of each member into that database? Avez-vous des Response. informations? With regard to this question again, Concernant I may refer Mr. Co-Prosecutor to go to le this de uh, de database Réponse system nouveau, and to learn more about the database. Since uh, it is uh, publicly accessible, uh, we feel that uh, tous, you will make the most of it by uh, locking to it. Simple, ce
Mr. Co Prosecutor. Indeed, uh, we have been well informed of this, uh, but we would like uh, just nous to hear from you so that uh, the public can also be, the court and the public can be informed. I would not uh, proceed to uh, with further questions uh, on this, but I would like to go to another subject uh, if uh, the chamber allows. Uh, Mr. President, uh, indeed, you may proceed. Uh, you have 10 more minutes, uh, but please... Um, make uh, the most of your allocated time. In particular, your questions should be more directly uh, uh, linked to the relevant documents that are put before the chamber, the document that document may have uh, evidentiary value uh, so that uh, it is really the topic for the discussion for today. The president, could uh, you activate your mic, please? Pouvez-vous activer votre Question. micro? Could you Un also please national. tell the court about the photograph or old uh, uh, photograph database? Uh, what is the main purpose de of uh, this database? À quoi sert principalement cette base de données? Response: uh, The photographic Réponse. database has been established uh, to uh, input photographs because photographs have been collected after the falls of the Khmer Rouge we do not really have information on those photos and the purpose of creating this photographic database is to put those photos into the database, hoping that the public photos, may access to them and recognize uh, any of the photos. photos. And if the users recognize um, those pictures, they may inform the si DC cam and uh, feed uh, us with some photo, information relevant to the, ident le rather, the identified uh, photo so that DC cam can input further information donc, along with the photos identified. Le DC cam peut question, uh, along with the, uh, in the photographic database, is there any question. films or uh, documentary film included? Response, no. Uh, in photographic films, database, uh, there is Réponse, only la base de données photographiques photos. Uniquement des photos. Question. Question. Uh, can you tell us uh, to whom these uh, documents at the DC cam belong to legally. Response, uh, as uh, we indicated, uh, we obtained these uh, information uh, from several sources, including the governmental sources, private institutions and NGOs. So if you would like us to uh, me to explain to you in detail concerning this, you may provide us with any specific information or document, and then we can do that. Uh, but uh, to be uh, clearer, uh, we also uh, uh, verified the document uh, with uh, the people who provided us with these documents. And uh, as I indicated, for example, uh, Mr. President, I uh, have uh, three more questions to ask Mr. Darapo. First, uh, before you appear before the chamber today, can you tell us whether or not uh, you were informed uh, or you learned uh, that uh, you would be asking uh, certain questions before uh, you testify before this court? In other words, did you know in advance that uh, certain questions would be asked? Uh, answer. I uh, received the uh, summon from the uh, chamber to testify before the chamber on the documents stored at the uh, DC camp. Question. 
Do you know the list of questions or lines of questions uh, to be asked? Mr. President, interrupt. Uh, this question is not relevant uh, to the issue of uh, uh, documents, so you do not have to answer this question. Mr. Dararez, may. Yesterday, you said uh, that DCCAM had received uh, documents from various sources. Uh, can you inform uh, the chamber who uh, has uh, provided the most uh, documents to the DCCAM? And who was the principal person who received those documents? You yourself or your director? Answer. In compiling the documents, not only the director or myself were responsible for uh, collecting and uh, compiling those documents. There are directors as well as uh, personnel of the uh, DCCAM and documents whether uh, they be received uh, through the directors, myself, or staff. Uh, all of those documents will go through me. I uh, will have to uh, look at them, and I provide index uh, to them, and I give guidance as to how uh, those documents are stored and maintained at the DC camp. Question. Uh, Mr. President, I would like to ask my last question. Question. The Office of Co-Prosecutor have received a number of documents as well as videos uh, from, from the documentation centers of Cambodia. Can you tell the chamber uh, how uh, are those uh, films or videos catalogued? For example, you use D as the code number, D with the code number, and how do you uh, uh, code uh, those uh, videos? Because uh, in paper documents or hard copies documents, you have D followed by number. How about uh, documents in videos? Do you have any code numbers or so? So we would like to know when you uh, maintain these kinds of uh, documents, uh, how do you uh, code uh, or index uh, de those uh, films or videos. Les films Answer. En votre For uh, videos or Réponse. films uh, we have films. received, uh, we create a list of films which uh, we uh, indicate the titles of the uh, films or videos the source, uh, titre, source from where the films or videos are uh, derived so those films or, or videos can be easily accessible on the website uh, of the DC cam. Co-prosecutor, Mr. President, uh, that is all for me, and I thank you, Mr. Van Thunderapper, uh, for answering my question. The President, thank you. Uh, the representative of the pro prosecution. So now I would like Je to hand over uh, to the uh, lead co-lawyers uh, to put questions to uh, the witness. And uh, the civil party lead co-lawyers are reminded that you have one hour to put question to the witness. You may now proceed. Mr. Ang Adam. Oh, sorry, uh, correction. Mr. Pek Ang. Good morning, Mr. President. Good morning, Your Honours. I have a uh, few questions uh, myself. Then uh, my international colleague, uh, Ms. Elizabeth Simonofor, uh, will uh, continue putting questions uh, to Mr. Van Thunderapper. I uh, try my utmost not to be uh, repetitious to what uh, the prosecution has uh, already asked, uh, but I am going to dwell on uh, certain details, and I have additional questions as well for uh, the witness. First, uh, good morning, Mr. De Rappel. In 1997, the DCCAM created Le centre de documentation du Cambodge. a program uh, independent a from the uh, Cambodian genocide programs of the Yale University. Can Cambodian you tell us uh, how uh, it is independent uh, from the uh, university after, its, uh, after the, the joint uh, collaboration ended? Après, uh, enfin, en Answer. Thank you for the question. Réponse. 
Je vous remercie de cette question. Jail University had a genocide uh, project in Cambodia, and this project lasted for two years, from 1995 to 1997. And when the, uh, this project ended, the director of the uh, DC CAM continue uh, the uh, programs uh, without uh, receiving any funding from that university anymore. Question. So between 1995 and 1997, you mentioned that uh, DCCAM was a part of a collaborative project of the uh, Yale University. Uh, what was the uh, administrative relation between DCCAM and the uh, Yale University? Uh, 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 witness. Uh, can you clarify uh, your question about the uh, time period you mentioned, uh, Mr. Pignon? Well, I would like to know about the uh, duration when you had a joint collaboration between the Documentation Center of Cambodia and the uh, University of Yale. I would like to know whether or not you have a separate administration or you were actually run by this university. From 1995 to 1997, DC CAM was then an office for the uh, study of the Democratic Kampuchea. It was uh, not uh, yet a non-governmental organization at that time. It was actually a uh, subsidiary office uh, for the uh, study program of Jail University. Bureau affiliate Question. Uh, was DCCAM uh, or did C, uh, uh, DCCAM had autonomies in uh, its administration uh, back then? Answer. Well, I think uh, council can may uh, uh, Imagine that at that time the DCCAM was not yet a non governmental organization. It was merely an office uh, for the uh, study program of Yale University. Question. My follow up uh, question. As for the aspect of administration and finance, uh, Point of view administrative was it uh, different uh, f uh, from 1995 to 97, 1997 yes. and uh, after, after 1997? Answer. So Before I answer your question, I would like to uh, draw the, uh, the, the attention of the Council that uh, the uh, purpose of uh, summoning me to uh, testify before cham the chamber today chambre, is to clarify to the chamber the issue relating to documents. So I would uh, suggest that uh, uh, the question be asked on the uh, documentation. Sin, uh, there is an issue in terms of the independence of the DC CAM. That's why I uh, put this question to the uh, witness. I would like to check whether or not the DC CAM uh, is independent uh, in, in its operation and whether or not the work they have done is reliable or not. Uh, so we have to uh, ask for uh, the independence uh, of this institution. Uh, the questions were asked uh, yesterday, and I think uh, the uh, witness uh, 
uh, has already answered uh, the question in terms of its affiliation with the Yale University, particularly uh, during the period of 1995 to 1997. Uh, the witness said that it was uh, part of the uh, research uh, project of the Yale University, and uh, it was actually uh, complying with the uh, administration of the uh, uh, Yale University. So I think uh, that this question has already been uh, answered. So council are advised uh, to ask uh, other questions in accordance with the uh, guidance of the uh, chamber, which has already been circulated to the parties qui a déjà été concerned. So please uh, make good use of the time donc, allocated to uh, each party effectively. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. President, uh, for your uh, guidance. And Question. Question. Does the DCCAM uh, consider itself as an investigating institution uh, for crimes that were committed during the Khmer Rouge regime? Answer. Uh, no, at the DCCAM, we have never ever used the word investigation. Question. Question. Does the, the DCCAM intend to collect uh, all information about the Khmer Rouge regime. Le de Answer. Les yes, this is the régime very Khmer mandate Rouge. of Réponse. the documentation effet, center of Cambodia. Notre mandat. Question. There is a question concerning uh, your uh, qualification and education overseas. You said you had been trained at the uh, New South Wales University. Could you elaborate uh, what the content of your study at the University of, uh, university of New South Wales? Answer. When I was uh, studying at the New South Wales University, I uh, attended a faculty on uh, compiling documents. J'ai participé à des cours de Question. collecte de documents. You mentioned about compiling documents. Oui, vous what de is, what, de what faire characterizes la the specialization in compiling the documents? Quelle est la compétence particulière et spéciale Answer. pour cette collecte de documents? We studied uh, the system of recording documents and compiling Nous documents uh, so that it can be easily found and accessible de sorte à uh, and the uh, people who want to conduct research also can access uh, those documents or information easily. Information le plus facilement possible. Question. You asserted yesterday that uh, DC Chem has never uh, analyzed uh, any document. What do you mean by uh, by that? Que vous voulez dire? Can you enlighten us uh, what you mean by uh, not analyzing uh, documents que that uh, uh, you have received? Pas des the fact that we do not uh, analyze document uh, is is that uh, we want uh, we won't make any comments or we won't say that this document is important or less important or we do not uh, make any comments that this uh, particular kind of document implicates this person or that person so that is what we mean by not analyzing the document Mais en cause telle ou telle personne. Voilà Question. ce que je veux dire par euh, le fait que nous procédons par ces analyses. In its operation, 
question. Does the DC camp uh, know that uh, there were crimes uh, committed uh, between 1975 and 1979, and then you try to look for documents uh, that uh, 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 prove uh, the crimes that were committed. Answer. Uh, well, I have already answered to this question. I would like to reserve my right not to answer this question again. Yesterday, you talk at length about the uh, custody of documents and uh, uh, collection of documents. But there is one uh, point which uh, was not clear enough uh, to me. I was wondering about the original documents that you said uh, you uh, kept in a safe uh, file cabinet. Uh, how do you classify them so that uh, they can be easily found uh, in the uh, documents at the DC camp? And, uh, I think yesterday I made it very clear about the uh, indexing of the documents uh, from the uh, original copies of documents and the copy documents. So we uh, not only index a document by giving the code numbers, but we also indicate uh, the source of the, doc of the documents as well. And we even put in the bracket, which I actually responded to the prosecutor. Uh, the, I also explained them that uh, what it means by uh, the uh, code number in the bracket. So it's quite clear uh, when we want to Donc find such document, for example, as to where it is located and where the source of the document is. Mr. Peyong, thank you Maître for Pekan. your clarification. Oui, merci pour My précision. next question uh, about your methodology in ascertaining the authenticity of documents. Uh, can you enlighten us as to how do you specifically assess the authenticity of the document? Do you, have, do you incorporate any scientific method in ensuring the authenticity? I would like to uh, specifically mention about this scientific uh, methodology. When you talk about an uh, uh, answer, when you talk about the uh, scientific uh, methodology uh, at the DC camp, we conduct a forensic scientific work, uh, forensic on the types of papers used, but we do not have means uh, to, to do that. Question. When you conduct uh, the assessment of the authenticity of the document, uh, do you uh, consult uh, with the expert external to the uh, DC camp? I mean, do you have any specific uh, design or working procedure to uh, authenticate uh, those documents? Answer. Whenever there is any uncertainty, we always seek uh, advice uh, from doute, the experts, uh, historians uh, who have been uh, well versed with the Khmer uh, uh, regime. And I, I, I indicated in my testimony yesterday uh, that uh, we had asked um, Professor David uh, Chandler. Uh, for example, yesterday I said uh, we uh, have received a document which we did not know the source very clearly, so we asked the experts uh, for uh, their expert advice. Question. So it means that when, whenever there is any doubt, right, you approach the uh, expert, otherwise you would do it yourself. Answer, that's correct. Question. Yesterday, you mentioned uh, two magazines uh, produced uh, during the decay period, the revolutionary uh, magazines and the revolutionary use magazine and the red flag. 
Révolution Oil Revolution Reflag et magazines. Jeunesse Révolutionnaire Have ou l'étendard rouge. Avez-vous at the documentation center of Cambodia we also had the biographies of the individuals or, uh, or avons aussi en notre processus comrades of the uh, Khmer Rouge les différents membres uh, question. du parti how about the uh, magazines yeah uh, answer yes magazine you are referring to the uh, red flag oui. or revolution red flag révolutionnaire étendard rouge Mr. Payong. Well, I do not have uh, many more questions on my list, uh, but I would like to uh, uh, continue. Uh, in the custody of uh, documents, How do you ensure that documents stored uh, at the DC camp and uh, they are Comment accessible to the public are not modified in any ways by anyone who may want to tamper with those documents? Uh, witness, uh, well, can you clarify your question? I don't quite catch your question. Mr. Pichon, uh, when the public question. or any interested individual who comes Quand to uh, access uh, documents at the DC camp, how do you ensure Comment that uh, uh, those individuals do not uh, make any alterations or addition to those uh, documents? Answer. When the researchers or the public at large coming to the DC camp, and they are not uh, personnel of the DC camp, and they want to conduct study or research on certain documents, we have a uh, specific area for them uh, to conduct research at the DC camp. Uh, we do not allow uh, those who are not the uh, staff member of the DC camp to, uh, to go and pick the documents uh, from the uh, bookshelf or from the uh, file cabinet themselves. Uh, we have staff members who uh, bring those copies uh, for them. And uh, if when those uh, public or researcher wants to read documents, they have to read in a, in a confined uh, area. And when they uh, return uh, the uh, documents uh, to the staff member of DC CAM, uh, we uh, check uh, those documents whether or not they return every copies and they maintain uh, its uh, uh, original uh, thing or not. And we also notify to the borrower that uh, those documents uh, must not be written on and the readers or borrower must not uh, take the document out uh, of the DC CAM either, and if they want to request a copy of uh, 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 any document, then uh, the request must go through me, and I have to grant uh, the request if the document is uh, photocopyable, and I can uh, uh, also write a copy of such document. Question. Question. You mentioned yesterday that uh, the Defense Council uh, went to DC CAM and consulted documents uh, at the DC CAM. Can you, uh, uh, can you uh, confirm uh, that uh, the Defense Council has made copies of those documents? Question. Uh, can you tell us as to how many documents uh, has the Defense Council uh, made uh, copies of uh, documents? Answer. Well, I, I cannot uh, tell you the exact exact numbers of copies uh, have been made uh, so far, but if you want the exact number, I can check with my colleagues. They can provide uh, the exact number upon request. Question. 
you said uh, you Kiss were the direct supervisors on the uh, copying of documents uh, requested by every faction of the ECCC, including the defense. Uh, can you ensure that uh, the copies of those documents are from the original copies stored at the DC camp? Answer. Each and every document uh, copied uh, by the uh, ECCC, uh, there is a letter indicating the uh, receipt as well as the delivery of the document. So those documents scanned or copied uh, were certified that uh, they were copied from the original. That brings me to the next question. Question. Do, uh, can you confirm uh, that all the documents uh, uh, stored at the DC camp have been authenticated? Answer. Yes, all documents at the DC camp have been authenticated. Réponse, oui. um, Mr. Peyang, Mr. President, uh, that's all Mr. for me. Uh, thank you voilà for the opportunity questions, for putting questions to the witness. Mr. President, yes, the international lead caller, yes, you may proceed. De poser des questions aux témoins. La parole est à Maître Simon Lefort. Oui, bonjour, yes, Monsieur le Président. Yes, good bonjour, morning, Mme, Mr. President. Uh, good bonjour morning, à tous. Your Honours. Good morning to everyone. Et bonjour, Monsieur. And uh, good morning to you, Mr. Van Powell. I'm going to put a few questions to you. Uh, je vous prie de m'excuser par avance. Si Please ces questions vous forgive me évidentes. if these questions might seem Et a si bit obvious. And if the answers also seem more obvious, but sometimes it's necessary to stress what is the most obvious before this chamber. So you explained to us that at the beginning, at the, at the beginning DC Camp's research work was done within a university context. So did DC Camp then continue following this same scientific and academic and university approach once DC Camp became an independent organization? Answer. When the Documentation Center of Cambodia became independent, uh, we expanded uh, our uh, work. We expanded it to the uh, to uh, teaching of the history of democratic Cambodia uh, to students across Cambodia. De la période de, du Cambodia démocratique aux étudiants du Cambodia. Oui, je me permets de d'insister. Je parle de la manière dont vous travaillez, en fait, de la méthode que I'm vous utilisez. Était-elle aussi rigoureuse Was it as stringent? I am not sure. To which aspect are you referring to? Je ne suis pas certain de ce à quoi vous faites référence. Je fais référence en fait à la façon fact, scientifique dont vous avez avec laquelle vous avez débuté vos travaux au sein d'une université. Et je vous demandais si vous aviez continué de travailler de cette même manière scientifique, really tout, en tout en élargissant le champ de vos recherches, bien sûr. As I have already emphasized, uh, the DC camp is permitted uh, by the royal government of Cambodia to conduct research, compile and store documents, and uh, we are allowed to do this work uh, freely, both uh, inside Cambodia and uh, outside, uh, and uh, in the future, uh, the DC CAM has a plan to build uh, um, a permanent research institute 
de mettre sur pied un institut de Nous avons déjà trouvé un nom pour cet institut. Ce sera l'institut de recherche Slack Rut. Merci. Thank you. Est-ce qu'on peut dire que le travail de DCCAM est un travail Can scientifique de recherche historique is a historical research done along scientific lines. Right. Right. I think I may not uh, understand the term Je ne suis pas sûr scientific de bien work. Ce que vous entendez par travail uh, scientifique here, are you referring this contexte? to the compilation of documents I am doing? à la collecte des documents. Je fais allusion à votre méthode de travail qui été, que vous avez apprise au sein de l'université. Réponse. Oui, c'est exact. Dans une démarche de recherche scientifique de type universitaire, il existe des règles de méthodologie quant à la collecte et à la classification des documents historiques. Est-ce que ce sont ces règles de méthodologie que vous avez appliquées lorsque vous nous décrivez la façon très précise dont DCCAM collecte des documents, les classifie et les conserve Respond. Réponse. It is correct to say that uh, my current work uh, has been uh, based on what I have Mon acquired during my study. Mon travail actuel sur la formation que j'ai pu obtenir. Est-ce que, à côté des règles Thank de you. méthodologie, il existe aussi, rules, dans ce genre de recherche, kind of des règles déontologiques, des règles morales moral well. bah, uh, Response. Uh, yes, it is correct. Uh, C'est exact. Before uh, we conduct Uh, the research uh, at uh, provinces or other locations, uh, Avant we have des clear code of ethics en province ou ailleurs, so that uh, the, the code of ethics uh, that has to be carried out by staff who conducted such research so that we are well disciplined in the recherche. Recherche. De, de façon à veiller à la bonne discipline et à notre professionnalisme. Merci. Thank you. À propos des interviews de personnes dont When on a peu parlé, est-ce qu'il existe aussi, dans une approche universitaire et scientifique, des règles de méthodologie et des règles éthiques en matière d'interviews de personnes Response. With regard to the interviews, we normally have uh, the questionnaires, set of questions indeed, uh, that are reviewed by senior legal advisors of uh, the DCK before uh, we conducted uh, the interview. So these advisors would uh, review them. And les the co questionnaires have also been uh, communicated to the Office of Code, the investigators of the chamber et as well. Le questionnaire en question a été communiqué au bureau des co-juges d'instruction. Est-ce que cette façon de procéder est celle que vous avez apprise pendant votre formation Is that a procedure that you learned while you were training Response. We have been trained and our trainings are focusing on documentation but the interview is another skill. Quant aux interviews, il s'agit d'une compétence distincte.
Merci. Thank you. Est-ce qu'on peut dire, monsieur, que vous êtes spécialisé en recherche documentaire historique Pouvez-vous répéter votre question Bien sûr. Est-ce yes, qu'on peut course. dire, monsieur, que vous êtes spécialisé en recherche documentaire historique Réponse. Yes, you can. I think oui. I have been on peut le dire. Uh, working in this field for the last 17 years. So Cela I'm fait 17 ans good at this. que je travaille dans ce domaine et je crois pouvoir dire que je possède les compétences requises. Est-ce que d'ici DC CAM actuellement continue de collaborer Is avec DC des universités Cam étrangères autres que Yale sur des travaux de recherche. Réponse. DC CAM est collaborating with or working with uh, several other universities. universities. The University of Rakhine. Il s'agit par University, exemple uh, uh, Temple University. I think there are other universities you name it. Et d'autres universités également. Est-ce que selon vous DCCAM bénéficie d'une réputation de sérieux it, auprès des universités well chercheurs et experts étrangers Foreign universities researchers and experts. Uh, some our, uh, Uh, I think uh, I would leave it uh, to the public uh, to evaluate uh, because I don't want Je to uh, le soin show up or by Je ne um, pas boasting faire about myself. De quoi que ce soit. Plus précisément sur la recherche des documents. Est-ce que votre expérience professionnelle et votre connaissance de l'histoire du régime du Kampuchea démocratique vous ont permis d'avoir une idée des lieux où les Khmer Rouges détenaient ou conservaient leurs documents Effectivement. If we look at uh, the situation after the collapse of the Khmer Rouge, Après la chute everyone Khmer Rouge, was trying their best to live on, and uh, people forgot uh, about collecting the documents. Left de continuer à vivre et les gens ne se sont the pas DCCAM souciés de récupérer les documents laissés de par les Khmer Rouges. Uh, Khmer Rouge La collecte des documents historiques relatifs aux Khmer Rouges est them. très importante du point de vue de DCCAM et nous savons où by the Royal Government of Cambodia, Lorsque nous obtenons l'autorisation du gouvernement can, cambodien, uh, go to any places it wishes to uh, do to collect uh, these information. Récupérer ces informations. Dans ce cas, est-ce que votre collecte de documents a corroboré ce que vous pensiez Autrement dit, y a-t-il une concordance entre la provenance de certains documents que vous avez eu en main et que vous conservez et les lieux où les Khmer Rouges étaient supposés les conserver. Réponse. Je vais prendre un exemple. Par exemple, il y a un record de... Prenons le cas 
a person who took note regarding Do the not medical training. These documents were located uh, at Tool Slang. Il s'agit de documents qui se trouvaient This à means Tool that Slang. the documents could have been kept by the Il se peut que ces documents who aient été conservés par une personne qui a été arrêtée puis transférée à Tool Slang. That person, and that's why ce it was appartient à cette located at et que c'est précisément pour cela que ces documents se sont retrouvés à Ministry of Health et non pas au ministère de la Santé. Merci. J'ai enfin Thank une you. petite série de questions sur l'utilisation des Now, documents de DCCAM par les parties présentes ici. Vous nous avez dit que vous avez mis les documents here à disposition de nombreuses personnes, d'une part des experts, des chercheurs, des étudiants, et d'autre part des personnes des CETC et notamment les procureurs, la partie civile et la défense. Vous nous avez dit que DCCAM avait proposé aux partis de venir dans ces locaux et que, par exemple, la défense venait une fois par semaine. Est-ce que, lors de ces visites, je parle de celles de toutes les parties, est-ce que, lors de ces visites, il arrivait que le personnel de DCCAM guide les recherches des parties, les aide à trouver des documents et, fasse quel et donne quelques explications Réponse. Sometimes people who went to our office Parfois, to des conduct gens research, viennent dans nos locaux pour effectuer des recherches. Je ne parle pas nécessairement de gens qui viennent du tribunal. Is there, is Quiconque advised or vient guided dans nos locaux on se fait aider how to search for documents at dans the DCK because de there are different kinds of documents il faut savoir qu'il y a plusieurs types de documents qui center. sont conservés au DCCAM and uh, each and every visitor needs uh, to be guided uh, to be Et able to access to uh, visiteur, those uh, soit, documents. In general, there les documents is a general orientation session uh, for uh, each visitor so that they can find it easy to briefing access to those pieces of information. Avez-vous l'impression par conséquent, d'avoir aidé chacune des parties ici présentes de façon équitable lorsqu'elle en avait besoin. Réponse. has been recognized by the ECCC as an institution that has provided the parties or the chamber with relevant documents. We have received several emails, thank you emails concerning the documents that have been provided to them with our assistance. Des courriels des parties. Emails from the parties. Response. Uh, we received letters from the Nous avons ECCC itself. reçu des lettres de la part des CETC elles-mêmes. Est-ce que DCCAM a été une seule fois critiqué quant à sa méthode de collecte de documents 
par une des parties ici présentes. Est-ce que vous avez une date particulière en tête afin que je puisse vous répondre de manière plus précise Non, je n'ai pas de date. Je pose une question de façon générale. Est-ce que vous avez reçu une critique d'un d'entre nous, d'une des parties au procès, quant à la collecte des documents à laquelle vous avez procédé Je n'ai pas de date puisque j'ignore la réponse à ma question. Provided to the ECCC through request, without which uh, such documents could never be provided. Au CETC sur demande, sans quoi les documents n'auraient pas pu être remis au CETC. Je vais peut-être poser ma question autrement. Est-ce que les parties qui sont venus consulter les documents vous ont fait des critiques quant à la qualité de votre travail de recherche de documents. Allusion aux parties qui sont ici présentes dans le prétoire. Oui, c'est ça. Yes, quite right. Look, Jim Ban, Jim Rip, Rick Mahal. Response. As I already indicated, all documents déjà dit could never be sent or provided to parties without a request. Les ont été and uh, we always do our best express. to make sure that the documents are provided to parties in due course and uh, en temps utile. free of charge. Et ce, à titre gracieux. J'en déduis que vous n'avez pas eu affaire à des contestations ou du mécontentement de la part d'une des parties. Est-ce que c'est cela Réponse. Effectivement. Je vous remercie, monsieur. Je n'ai plus de questions. Thank you very much. I have Merci. no further questions to ask. Thank you. Bah, kun saksi. The President. Uh, thank you, Mr. Witness, uh, since it is now an appropriate time to take uh, an adjournment, uh, the Chamber will adjourn for 20 minutes, and we will resume after this. Court officer is now instructed to uh, take uh, the witness to a uh, à l'huissier d'audience de conduire le témoin the court dans la salle d'attente et de le ramener dans le prétoire uh, dans 20 minutes. <coughs> Je donne la parole à la défense Yingsari. de Yengsari. La défense. Mr. Angadam, may we make a request uh, to the Chamber that Mr. Yingsari be excused from this courtroom and he uh, be allowed to follow the proceeding from the holding cell. Uh, cell. Uh, Mr. President, uh, has he waived his right to be present here? Because we need to be clear, we will rule on 
Nous allons nous prononcer sur cette whether requête. Whether he will be excused or whether he has waived his uh, right to be present. Est-ce que cette requête consiste à demander à être excusé ou bien s'agit-il d'une renonciation au droit à être ici présent La requête déposée doit être précise, comme la Chambre l'a déjà indiqué aux avocats. Maître we Andor. would like uh, the second option. Uh, we would like uh, our client would like uh, to participate uh, from a remote, uh, through remote participation. À à uh, the president uh, is did understood that he has waived his right to be present. Uh, Council Angudam, he has um, uh, asked that he be excused uh, and, uh, from this courtroom, but uh, participate uh, from the whole. À pouvoir participer à l'audience depuis la cellule temporaire. The president, the, the chamber has uh, noted uh, the request uh, by counsel for Ian Zari, and that uh, Ian Zari is now allowed to uh, be excused uh, from uh, this courtroom, but uh, still participate in the proceeding through a remote participation uh, from the holding cell. Security personnel are now instructed to take the accused to the holding cell where the audiovisual equipment is now instructed to Connect. Je demande au service technique so de brancher le matériel audiovisuel de façon à ce que l'accusé puisse suivre the actual proceedings in the ce qui se passe through, uh, dans le that, uh, prétoire. Device, that court is